Hey guys, Fear 880 and by special request, this is one of the videos that I get requests a lot is, would you please make a video of you taking the soft top off and putting the hard top on? Perfect time to do it, so let's get to it. Okay, so one of the first things you wanna do is make sure you have everything set up and ready to go. Now, right there is my hard top. I'm very fortunate to have a place in my warehouse to store it. And then over here, is my original factory boxes that the uh, window channels and all the stuff came in and the plastic windows. So I'm gonna get the forklift, get this stuff down, then we'll go to the Jeep. So this is the soft top window box that comes with a soft top new from the factory magically i have been able to keep most of the paper stuff since new so i'm going to go ahead and now remove the windows and try to safely put them inside the box and then we'll continue When you're removing your rear window, you take your bar out, you take your window bar out. And just set that aside for right now. Now to be completely honest with you, I have completely forgot how to put the windows back to the way they used to be. Now if I remember correctly, the rear window rolled up. And I almost want to say that the rear window actually went inside the cardboard piece here, but I can't remember. It ain't going to fit now, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to set that to the side. Now the, the side windows, I honestly can't remember about these either. I want to say these folded one time. And there you have it. The most important part now, believe it or not, is folding the soft top up. Now, obviously, if you've had a Jeep for a while, you already know about this, folding it up. But getting this into a W makes getting this top off and maybe even possibly getting it into the actual bag that the soft top came in possible. So check this out. Again, getting this into a perfect W. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. Undo the Sun Rider latches. Go ahead and undo your sail panels. Now, a lot of times I will open up my hatchback door to do this part or tailgate door. Again, just set this off to the side. This is not needed yet. Hand here, hand here. And then 
lower it slowly. Now, this is folded pretty nice. Yeah, this looks good. So, now the question is, will it work in the back? Let's try to find out. Now, a lot of people say, oh no, heck no, this thing is a throw away the first time. And yes, it is. But, you actually can possibly reuse this. This is the third time that I've used this on year three. It's on its last leg. This is probably the last time that I'll ever use it if I can get it back on. So let's give it a shot. It's not perfect science. What you're trying to do is you're trying to protect the bottom of the top wherever you're gonna store it. That's all the purpose of this is. Now, well, wait a second. I can't even snap my buttons back in. Don't worry about that. That's the least of your worries. Again, all I'm using the cover for is to protect my top from when I go to lay it actually on the pallet racks. That's where I choose to keep and store mine. Okay, scotch tape or uh, box tape. That's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna go around it backwards. That is all you're looking for. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, all these procedures that I'm doing is just stuff that I've picked up over the past couple of years of using the soft top that I've off, bought off of Craigslist. That's all I'm doing. I'm doing two pieces. I start with the tape side here, flip it around, go over the top, flip it back around, and tape it to here. Next season, I'll undo the tape for the next installation. T30 bit. You've seen me do this on the installation video. All I'm doing is removing the roll bar screws, bracket screws. Now, as of right now, the roll bar brackets are undone. It's gonna kind of move them out of the way. And then the soft top is completely free. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the hardware. The rear window bar clips. The window channels. I get this question asked a lot. Do I have to remove the window channel plastic in order to get the hard top on? And the answer is yes. The hard top will not go on unless everything is removed. Just like in the installation, fold it into a 90. The sad thing about it is taking your soft top off takes half the time it does to, in, to install it when you first do it. Now 
Again, fold the 90 up. My original box that came with the top, all I'm gonna do is, I mean, it doesn't matter which way you put it in first, but normally I put my 90s in first. Be careful when you're storing the driver side and passenger side front window bar because this is the area if you damage that seal that's where 90 percent of the, the soft top leaks come from and you'll see that in my soft top leak video get a little piece of tape put it right there and that's it so this is my uh, hardware box, or a little box that I kept for my hardware. This is all the hardware for the hard top that you saw me remove when I did the soft top installation. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that stuff out. Remember not to mix it up. Take your soft top hardware, put it in the box, make sure you got your six knuckle handle screws. When you're storing your soft top, make sure you find a designated area where you've got plenty of room to store it because it does take a lot of space up. fiddle around with that later and my window bar I'm just gonna set that on top of the soft top frame and then there's my hardware box for next season Whew. okay so there you go soft tops removed I got a problem. I don't have anybody here to help me with a hard top. Another question I get asked, can I do the hard top myself? You'll see a chiropractor the next day if you can even get it on there. The problem with the hard top, I think the hard top weighs 110 pounds, either 110 or 150. I can't remember on the four door. It's bulky. It's the way it's set up. It's just really weird on how your lift points are. And then it's just really no, safe way to lift it with one person and sometimes if you lift it with the wrong second person like my wife beautiful young lady love her to death forget about it her lifting the hard top is just as dangerous as me doing it by myself so i hope osha's not watching this video because i only have one idea how to get this hard top back on the jeep little side note here one of the things i'm going to do in just a minute is i'm going to go take my uh little wash rag and just clean the channel right here where the Hard top rest against. While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the Jeep for the hard top, something I forgot to show y'all before. Now, if you watched my other video where I removed the soft top, you know that I sometimes remove these body clips from the body here just to make it easier. Do not try this at home. This is very dangerous. I have decent safety straps up there, but again, I don't have anybody to help me right now at the top.
I've got my T40, a handful of hardware bolts for the hardtop. I'm going to start with the front here. I'm going to go ahead and hook up my windshield washer tube, just click it in place. And then on the wiring hardness for the wiper and everything, you just have this clip that you push over once you get to secured. And that's it, the back is done. Last but not least, the Freedom Tops. I'm going to start with my passenger side first. Make sure you put your sun visors down when you're doing this. It makes it a lot easier. Okay. I'm not going to secure anything. I'm just going to set everything in place real quick. Also, make sure your latch on your tops is back as well unsecured okay now i've got everything unsecured right now all i'm doing is i'm just loose fitting everything into place okay everything's loose I'm going to start with the latches first. Then I'm going to start with the window bar. Then I'll start with the outer. And then last but not least, the middle one. Then I'm just going to go ahead and just tighten these down. Not like torque down hand tight where it's going to split the top in half, but enough to make it sealed. Now, obviously, if I tighten this one more, this one will get loosened up because of the way the top is secured to the frame. And right there, folks, that's about perfect. Go ahead and fold up your Freedom Top bag because if you're going to plan on taking your Freedom Tops off throughout the winter and stuff, it's best to have these because this, the hard top and the Freedom Top panels scratch real, real easily. So guys, there you have it. Hard top is installed. Now, how, how hard is it? You need two people. Two people would make it go so much easier. Have everything planned out. Have everything with your hardware for your hard top ready to go. Have all your tools set out for your T-bits and everything, or your Torx bits set up to remove your soft top from the, uh, from the frame bar and everything. Everything's coordinated. Take your time. It may take you an afternoon. Realistically, how long did it take me? It took me right about an hour, and that was fumbling around with the forklift and stuff. So guys, thanks again for watching my videos. I just want to say a special thank you to all the subscribers. We have either hit 4,500 or we're about to hit 4,500 subscribers. I'm not a big YouTube channel guy. My YouTube videos are from this Jeep and from the boat behind me. Guys, thanks again for watching everything. Click subscribe or like around here, and we will see you soon.